What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie and today we're going to go over Lana and Araquanids, uh, Sync Grids, Team Builds, Lucky Skill, oof, Lucky Skill, um, Moveset, all that sort of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So Lana and Araquanid uh, is a water type weak to rock, which is funny enough, but it is a support type, a really good support type. It is five stars, and it does come with its EX unlockable, uh, which not high up on the EX unlocking scale, if you ask me. Uh, it's a little bright. There we go. Uh, the stats we've got uh, base stats at level 130, so not really accurate to what is in the game right now, but. This gives you a good idea of where the stats are just overall. HP of 555, or 558. Uh, physical attack of 234. Uh, defense of 257. Uh, special attack of 190. Very low special attack. And special defense is at 274. And it's ranked 6 out of all of the sync pairs in the game. Hello, animals. The animals are here. Uh, so it's got a very high special defense. Yeah, it is a very good support, uh, uh, tank and just support in general. Like, really, really good. Uh, speed is also very low, uh, but the bulk is very high. But, again, that doesn't really matter too much. The moves! We've got Water Gun, uh, which does 20 to 24 power, depending on how powered up it is. Uh, accuracy of 100 against a single opponent. Cost is one move gauge. Uh, the reason why it is very important that it's one move gauge, we'll find out when we get to the passive skills. But, and, and like, two out of five. Yeah, two out of five sync grids. Like, it's very good that it's a one out of, it's a one gauge move cost. Uh, but it's essentially, this is the move that you would use to get to the sync grid or to sync, sync move as quickly as possible for your main striker. Yeah, Elliot. Elliot. What's up, buddy? Are you chasing Roger around? Are you chasing Roger around? Okay, you guys just chill. They're getting used to each other. Uh, so, Wide Guard. <laughs> wide Guard is a rock-type move. Uh, you have one use, it costs one move gauge. The user takes up a defensive posture. Using this move again will make the user leave this defensive posture. No other actions can be taken when in this defensive posture. The, uh, it nullifies moves that target all allies when hit by such a move while in this defensive posture. So this move... Hey, Roger. You want to come here? Okay. It's Roger, you guys. Him's a purrin. You hear it? You hear purr? That's a purry. Okay, buddy, you sit right here. Uh, so it only works against AoE attacks. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, before you use it. Leech Life. Uh, we all know Leech Life. It's a bug type uh, physical attack. Uh, 91 to 109 power. Uh, accuracy of 100 against single opponent. 3 gauge move cost. Restores the user's HP based on the amount of damage dealt to the target. Really? You just want to run around? Okay. Go on. You can't, you can't be up here, buddy. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a really good to restore your health. Very good. Uh, Carpe Diem is the trainer move. Uh, it's uh, all allies uses. Uh, you can use it one time. You have an MP refresh for it in the sync grid, though. Uses a maximum of three slots of the user's move gauge based on the amount used. This move raises all allies' sync pairs' attack and defense by up to four stat ranks, uh, which is really good. It also lets you know the kind of support, uh, the kind of striker that Lana is meant to support, uh, which we'll get into. Makes all allies' sync pairs gradually heal themselves. That is amazing, and it really narrows down who, who this sync pair is meant to be a support for. Uh, sync move. Uh, not that you would be using it too much, but it is Seaside Sister Hydro Vortex. Hi, babies. Uh, power of 250 to 300, depending on how powered up it is against a single opponent. And because it is a uh, support 
Oh, hi, Bones. All the animals are here. Bones is probably getting used to the kitten the least. Go chase Bones. Uh, she she's never Bones has never seen uh, another cat. She's seen cats like through the window, but has never interacted with another cat. And so when Roger like shows Bones affection by trying to like do head bumps and rub on her, Bones is like no and runs away. So she's getting used to it though. Uh, but Seaside's sister, Hydro Vortex. Uh, so when you uh, use this as an EX, uh, it increases the amount that, uh, like, I think it increases stats after the sync grid by a little bit more than they would normally get raised by. Uh, so yeah. Again, eh. You, you're going to want to sync with your, your main striker uh, when Lana's on the team. For the passive skills, passive skills, the first one, group fire guard, reduces the damage of all allied sync pairs take when attacked by fire type moves. Group water guard, reduces the damage of all allied sync pairs take uh, when attacked by water type moves. It's really good. Like, you've got two, two huge uh, 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 types just covered right there. Uh, next up, you have Propelling Strike 9. Uh, this is what I mean when it works really well with the one gauge move attack water gun. Propelling Strike 9. Hello, Roger. Uh, charges the user's move gauge by one when its attack move is successful. Uh, so you're essentially not using any move gauge when you use a one gauge move attack with Propelling Strike 9. Okay, let's not get in all the. Come here, buddy. Okay, okay, come on. Nope, nope. All the wires. This is a special Roger episode of Sync Grid Builds. Okay, go on. Go. Nope, nope, okay. I'm just gonna. Here, you know what? Play with this. Play with that. There you go. There you go. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave all this in it, too. I'm just going to leave all this in it so you guys can enjoy. Uh, so, yeah. Very, very good. Uh, skills. Uh, team, the uh, theme skills you got are Water, Alola, Trial Giver, Free Spirit, and Nature Lover. Uh, you can match up two of those with the new Master Sync Pair, uh, Archie and Kyogre. Water and Nature Lover. Uh, but Lana's support, she can be a tank for, uh, any rain team. Uh, yeah, she could be a support for any rain team. Uh, and I'll do a, um, I'll do a showcase video, uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. I've got a lot of showcase videos to get through, uh, because of my little vacation I took <laughs> from making videos because of work. So it wasn't really a vacation. But let's see here. Lucky skill. Uh, the type of lucky skill that you want is not Vigilance, because that is on her uh, 2 out of 5 and up sync grid. Uh, it is not Unbending, it is not Stalwart, because those are also on her 2 out of 5 sync grid. You want to do either, because she's weak to Rock type, Rock Guard, or if you have enough Crunchy Lucky Cookies, uh, try for Defense Crush 2. Uh, Defense Crush 2 is really good because she wants to be on a water type physical striker support team. Uh, and Defense Crush 2 uh, lowers, has a chance to lower, the de physical defense of the opponent that you're striking, making him more susceptible to damage from your main physical water type striker. And by physical water type striker, the one that makes the most sense is. Cygnus Suit, Grimsley, and Sharpedo slash Mega Sharpedo. Uh, Lana and Araquanid's pretty much designed to work with Cygnus Suit, Grimsley. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a really fun video to do for you guys. Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, you can use uh, 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 Chris and Feraligator, but that's not great. I'm trying to think of other physical strikers in the game. Probably... 
I mean, technically, hello, Bob, or Roger. Technically, you could use. Yes, you're all you're all purrs right now. Uh, you could use uh, uh, Hilbert and Samurott. Uh, technically, but not. I mean, kind of. That could work. That could work. Sorry, he's distracting me. I'm not cutting any of this out. Okay. And, uh, yeah, any of the rain dance, uh, sync pairs that you can do, um, let's see here, uh, Egg Tech Blastoise, or Shiny Blastoise, is a very good, uh, it's a rain dance sync pair. You could also do, um, of course, May and, uh, Swampert. You could also do... Winona and Pelipper. I'm trying to think, are there any other rain dance sync pairs in the game? I think that's it. If there's not, let me know down in the comment section. Now let's go with all that. Wow, we got way into the video. We got way into the video <laughs> before we're even at the sync grids. So this is the one out of five sync grid. Uh, I did a different one when I did my summon video yesterday, which you guys can check out. Uh, it'll probably be popping up at the end of this video. Uh, or you've already watched it, which, congrats, congrats to you, bro. <laughs> but you've got, uh, Refreshing Rain 1, which restores the Pokemon's HP whenever it takes an action when the weather is rainy. We also have access to Leech Life Move Gauge Refresh, and we also have access to Carpe Diem, uh, Move Gauge Refresh 3. Uh, so that's really good. And we also have access to Unbending and Stalwart, which I also grabbed. And the only ones we didn't get were the speed and special attack plus 5, uh, because we're not focusing on a special attack move here. We want to power up, uh, we want to get all the defense stuff, and we want to power up uh, with the physical attack plus 5 right there. The uh, leech life. Yeah. So let's move on to 2 out of 5. Our first 2 out of 5 build, and it's already improved massively. You were just having way too much fun. Okay. Enjoy that. Sorry if there's noise. <laughs> kittens, guys. Kittens. So we've got Catalytic Cure 1 has a small chance of restoring the user's HP when a move is successful. Really good. Endurance. Really good. Vigilance. At 2 out of 5 is really good. We do have Water Gun Move Gauge Refresh 3, but we're not using it right now. We have Rain Gear 1 reduces damage when the Pokemon is hit by a attack move uh, when the weather is rainy. You could either do that one or you can do Refreshing Rain 1 which restores the Pokemon's HP when it takes an action when the weather is rainy. So you have two chances of being able to restore your health with Catalytic Cure 1 and Refreshing Rain 1. Refreshing Rain 1 of course uses, uh, oh Kyogre is the other Rain Dance. Uh, Pokemon and uh, you can also increase your physical attack to do uh, more damage meaning heal yourself more with leech life which we also have the move gauge refresh for uh, but yeah it's a really good uh, rain dance uh, team build kind of a thing Ellie you checking on the kitten next up for two out of five we've got the straight up rain dance build we didn't even go for unbidding or, or stalwart. Endurance and vigilance are always a must. They're just too good to not get. We got both rain gear and refreshing rain one. And we just went with a full defense build here. Kittens, I swear. I'm locking you out of the room next time. <laughs> uh, if you didn't want to do this though, uh, what I would recommend Let's see if we can get to it. We're gonna have to lose special defense and special attack. And we can get the catalytic cure. And we can still increase our defense uh, plus 10 right there in the bottom left hand corner. So again, not too bad. Moving on to the next three out of five sync grid build. And this is just a two out of five build. <laughs> I just realized this. This is just a two out of five build. Uh, that we already covered. So let's move on from that one. Yeah. Here's a 3 out of 5 build. 
uh, because we do need three out of five to get Racing Rain 2. This is a, a rain dance build. Uh, quickly charges the move gauge when the weather is rainy. We also have Rain Gear 1, ra uh, Refreshing Rain 1, Vigilance Endurance, and Leech Life move gauge refresh. Uh, so not too bad. And we're increasing defense as much as we can because that is the weaker of the two defenses, uh, defense stats. Oh, you're just making a mess, bro. And last but not least, uh, we're not doing a sync nuke build because you're not really going to sync nuke with uh, Lana. That's not how she's built. So, this is just another way to do a uh, rain dance build. Instead of going for Leech Life, we went up to the Catalytic Cure, Endurance, Racing Rain 2, Vigilance, Rain Gear 1, and Refreshing Rain. And we did get the sync. The, we, we just grabbed the, the sync uh, power up just to bridge over to the catalytic cure uh, but yeah guys let me know <laughs> let me know what you guys <sighs> Roger let me know what you guys do you guys have kittens let me know down in the comments uh, let me know what you guys think about Lana and Araquanid uh, what teams are you gonna use them for uh, anything inventive Cygnus Sue Grimsley just makes the most sense and any other of the uh, rain dance uh, sync pairs that can tag along with them. You would want to have Lana and Araquanid in the number one slot, the Rain Dance Pokemon in the number two slot, and then Grimsley in the three spot. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already seen so never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters EX content. Perfect timing there, buddy. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later!